We're learning Sikhe Beis of Parshas Re'eh in Chelek Yutes on page 140. In Haintig Esed Reshtet, V'hoya ha-mokay ma-shayivcha Hashem goyme den Beis ha-bchira b'Yerushalayim, Shoma taviyu o'leseichem v'zevcheichem goyme. The place that Hashem will choose, which is the Beis HaMikdosh, or as the Rambam refers to it as the Beis HaBchira, or Rashi on the Pesach says this expression of Beis HaBchira in Yerushalayim, that's the place where you bring all your karbonis. Was from the Mlashon Ashi Yivcha Hashem Mashma, the fact that the Teda says that Eivisha chooses this place, it's, so it seems, as the Maila from them Mokim, was the Disib of Shamba Taviyu, so what is this place? What is special about this place? That that's where you bring the karbonis. Is Nor Bechiras HaKadosh Baruch Hu and not them Mokim. It's just the fact that the Eivisha chose this very place for the base of Echira. Aber far dem Chiras HaKadosh Baruch Hu Before the Ebesha chooses this place Hatem gekant beiche zayin an andem mokim Another place could have been chosen Der mokim bat net gehat kein meilem yechedes legawe andere erte This place, the Bisham Mikdosh in Yerushalayim There's nothing unique about this place Before it was chosen, any other place could have been chosen for the Karbanas to be brought there O kamay mechazal and as you see this clearly in the Medrash that says, Ad shalei nifchara Yerushalayim ha'isa kol eretz Yisrael k'sheira l'mizbuchis. Until Yerushalayim was chosen to be the place where the Beis HaMikdash will be built, anywhere else in Eretz Yisrael was k'sheira, was fit for the Karbanas to be brought there and for the Beis HaMikdash to be built there. And Ad shalei nifchar Beis HaLamim and until the spot where the Beis HaMikdash is built wasn't chosen, ha'isa Yerushalayim ru'uyo l'shechina. The entire city of Yerushalayim was fit for the Shechina to be there, for the Beis HaMikdash to be built there. Das heist, so it's pretty clear in this Medrash. As actually Nifchara Yerushalayim le Bizbechais, before Yerushalayim was chosen for the Mizbechais to be built there, is Nitgeven in Eir Kain Mailem Yechedes Be'inyan HaMizbech HaBeis HaMikdash to Gabishai Eretz Yisrael. There was no Maila in this place more than in any other place, and therefore this was chosen. Any other place has equal Maila, or it's this place and any other place is the same, and any place could have been chosen. And just like this is true regarding the city of Yerushalayim and the entire Eretz Yisrael, or any other place, the same is also true regarding the Beis Elamim in the city of Yerushalayim, that any other place in the city of Yerushalayim could have been chosen. So that's what it seems pretty clear from the Pasuk, and especially in this Medrash. However, the Rambam in the beginning of the second Perik in Hilchas Beis Abichira says, "Hamizbeach mekoymoy mechuvim beyaser." The spot where the mizbeach is in the Azara is very precise. Ve'ein mishanen oyser me mekoymoy liyolam, and you can't change that location forever. Shenemar ze mizbeach lo oyla liyisrael. This is the place for the mizbeach that will be used for the korbanos of oyla for the yidn. Then in the next halacha, the Rambam says, All the different milas, the specialty about this place, even before it was chosen. That's the place where Avram built his Mizbeach. That's the place where Noach built his Mizbeach. Shekrival of Kain the Hevel. Kain and Havel built their Mizbeach there. And also, the same place, Adam Arishin, Brought Karbanas there, Umisham Nivra. That's the spot from where he was created from. But the Pashtas meant so you read the Rambam simply, it seems that what he's saying is, as das was the fact that this place is very precise and you shouldn't ever change from this place, is Nitno Mitzat Chiris HaKadosh Baruch. It's not simply because Hashem chose this place. Now, what does is the art? Was Avram, Noach, Bechulah have makri given their kabbanis? Rather, it's because of the specialty of this place that all these people, starting from Adam Edishin and down to Avram Avinu, chose this spot to bring their kabbanis. Was does alles is given freer? Far b'chiras Hakadosh Baruch Hu. This all happens, of course, prior to the Eved choosing Yerushalayim and the spot in Har Meriah, the Beis Hamikdash, for the Beis Hamikdash to be there. So we see that the Rambam actually holds that there is something unique and special about this location before the Ebesha chooses it. On the Achreinim Zogin, so there are Achreinim that say, 
Und das ist ein Plukte zwischen der Rambam und Sefer HaChinuch. That this subject is actually an argument between the Rambam and the Sefer HaChinuch. Leuten Chinuch is ein hamokim zguli la shra'as ha-shchinah. There's nothing that's unique and special about this place for the Shchinah to dwell here. The Mailas HaMokim is Beloiz Mitzadem Vasarevishter Hat Beiche Gewenenim. The only advantage this place has over any other place is simply the choice of the Eibishter to choose this spot. Nothing other than that. Mashain Kein Leutner Rambam is das was the Eibishter Hat Beiche Gewen, the Mokim, is as vile as the Zamokim Zguli from Freya. The reason the Eibishter chooses this place is because of the specialty of this location. That all these personalities from Adam Arish until Avraham Avinu brought their karbanis there. And that's why the Abishter says, Oh, this is the, the right spot. This has a special mile that I want the Eden to build a Vesam Niktesh here as well. So this is the Machlaikis here according to Achreina. So the question on the Rambam's opinion is from Pasik, Hamakama Shiivcha Shemga Meshama Teviu. From this Pasik in this week's parasha where it says, This is the spot that the Abishter chose, and here's where you bring the karbanis. Is mashma as the maile in the mokim is blois machmas dem was yifchar Hashem that the advantage of this place over any other place is simply just the fact that Eibush chooses this place. Chiras Hakadosh Baruch Hu in the mokim. And from the very Rambam is mashma whereas from the Rambam it seems as the maile from the mokim is not mitzat chiras Hakadosh Baruch Hu that the specialty of this place is not just the Eibush's choice. Nor by other Marishin, the Chulu, and Tel Avram, have not marked given Karbanis, but the Maila is because of all these people that brought the Karbanis there. A Maila was given me Mais other Marishin, starting from the times of other Marishin, right in the beginning of creation. On the Reber is Makaimim Machoven be Yosef Ein Mishan and Isa, and that's the reason why you can't change the location of the Mizbeach ever. So how does the Rambam? the simple pshat of the Pasik that this place, that the mile of this place is the fact that Eibishu chooses this location. There's another machlaikis here. That Tzemach Tzedek in Eir HaTayre brings that up the Pluktus HaRishaynim b'negeh de Mokim HaMikdosh l'achash HaNivcha. There's an argument between Rishaynim regarding the place of the Beis HaMikdosh after the Eibishu chooses the place. What effect does the Eivish's choice have on this place? Titus Vert Amokim Nifchar Lashra Sashchina is the place only just chosen. It's chosen by the Eivish where the Shechina will dwell. Bili Shinuyim in the Mokim Bifnei Atzmai. But it doesn't actually have an effect and change in the very place itself. The Eivish chooses to be there. It's his choice to, to have the Shechina dwell there, but it doesn't actually connect and change the nature of the place itself. Other or the shchine is meir v'shoyre b'pchines mokayim. The shchine comes down and it sort of adapts to this place and it changes the nature of the place itself. That it illuminates and it shines into the very place itself. In the another sicha we learned, the terminology used is derech meiver or derech eslapshus. But in that in that sicha was discussing regarding the air. What kind is the is the air changed or is the air just passing through and it's not changed by the place. Here the Rebbe is discussing the nature of the place itself. To what extent does the Hashra of the Shechina connect and change the place itself? Is it just passing through and therefore it does not change the place itself at all? The Ebishu chooses this place, but it's the Ebishu's choice. But the place itself has no Shaykhah to this Bechlau. Or no, the place itself changes and because, because the Ebishu now chooses here this place, now this place itself becomes an illuminated place where the Shechina dwells here. And the, and the Tzamech Tzedek explains as follows. And I get a dogma of them, of Yitzvei He gives an example for both of these ways of how the Shechina connects to the place. The first opinion, which is the opinion of the Rambam, as he explains it in Meire Nevuchim, is the Ashra Sashchina be Mikdash, the way the Abishta dwells in the Mikdash. What's the nature of this place now? The Dugme Tsuadvar Seichel was Vert Geshriven Durik the Etzba Sayad. It's like when you're writing a concept using your hands to write. Was the Seichel is not Meyev Vishayre and Yad. The concept does not shine and it does not connect to the hands. The hands don't receive and get the ideas that are being written through the hand. But a Mayat hot King Shaykh is not the Seichel. The hand is not a keli to receive and get seichel. 
ideas. Aber von deswegen, Kämen schreiben hat Dvarsechel durch als Baasayat. It's not that the hand has no connection here. The fact is that the Dvarsechel is expressed and written through the hands, and specifically the hands, not any other limb in the body. Und nicht durch als Baasaregel, not through the feet. Und also, so this is also, from this we understand, according to the Rambam, in what way the Shechina comes to the place of the Mokim and Mikdash. As Ashras Ashchine is Ashras Ashchine Dafkin Mokim and Mikdash. Yes, it's true. The Eibusha chooses specifically this place where the Shechina will dwell. Afalpi as the Mokim hotnet ken shaychis zu Ashras Ashchine. Although it doesn't connect to the place, the place itself does not change to become a keli for the Shechina that's dwelling here. This is the Rambam's opinion. The other opinion, however, is, which is Dasa Ramban, the opinion of the Ramban, in a few places, is Ashra Sashchine in Mokkim, the way the Shechina dwells in this place of the Beis HaMikdash, similar to the way ideas and concepts are in the brain and the mind of a person. The brain is a physical organ in the body. The brain is a keli for seichel, for the intellect of a person to function in his brain. On the seichel is melubish in mayach b'derech eslapshus v'ashra mamish. The intellect connects to the brain of a person and the, the, the brain itself is a keli for this, to receive and connect to the intellect that is dear in this limb, in this or in this organ of the body. So it's not just passing through, it's not just being used like a hand that's writing an idea. The brain is the place where the intellect is actually connected to and revealed. So there's a very big difference in the Mokkim. And we hear that's what the Rebbe is focusing on over here. What is the level of connection to the Mokkim? Does the Mokkim become a place for the Shechina? Or this is the place where the Shechina is, but the Mokkim remains a place that is just like any other place. So now we have two different arguments here. The argument regarding whether it's just a choice, a bchira of the Eibishte, or the place was special before and therefore the Eibishte chooses it. And also the effect, the change of the Eibishte's bchira in the place. Is there no change at all? It's just simply the fact that the Eibishte chose this place and not more. Or the bchira of the Eibishte creates a change in the place itself. So seemingly these two arguments are dependent one on another. According to the opinion, according to the Rambam, it seems that the place of the Mizbeach, the place of the Vesa Mikdash, is special and unique before the Ebishu chooses it. So then, when the Ebishu chooses this place, so the Ebishu is choosing it because it's unique and special. So therefore, the, the Shechina, the presence of the Shechina, where the Ebesha chooses to be, is specifically connected and attached to this place. It's a keli for it. So it's like the brain, which is a keli for the intellect. According to the Ramban, as there is nita mokim zguli, that, or before the Rebbe brought it, this was the Chinuch. The Chinuch says that this place is, there's nothing unique and special about it. Bloiz amokim ashayivcha Hashem, nor just the very fact that the Eibishter chooses this place. So the effect of this Pchira and the connection of the Eibishter to this place is like the connection of a concept, an intellectual concept to the hands that are writing, but it doesn't connect to the hands. The place, the the Eivari, the, the, the Yad itself doesn't change when the Seichel comes through the hands. So to hear, because the place itself is not unique and special, even after the Ebesha chooses the place, it doesn't change the nature of the place. It always remains like any other place. But the Ebesha, it's Mitzat Lamaila. The Ebesha chooses to be over here. So seemingly these two things go together. The, the cause of the Bechireh and the effect of the Bechireh are dependent one another. However, so based on this, the question remains. How does the Rambam's opinion in Beis HaBechira fit with what he says in Meir Nevuchim? So we have over here a problem with the shit of the Rambam. On one hand, the Rambam says that the place 
Yerushalayim, the Beis HaMikdosh, specifically speaks about the Mizbeach, is unique and special. There's a very specific reason why the Ebesha chooses this place. That's on one hand. That's the effect of the Bechira. On the other hand, though, as far as the cause of the Bechira is concerned, it seems like the Rambam holds that the cause was the specialty of the place, that there's something very unique and holy about this place, that the other Marishan and Avram and so on were makir of the Karbanas there, and therefore the Ebesha chooses this place. So how do we put together the two different details of the Rambam's opinion? Aber, so the Rebbe says, this entire approach regarding the Rambam's shitta, that the Ebesha chooses the place only because it's special, Kadaike Shaper, if you look closer into this subject, and specifically in the words of the Rambam, is mochach, it's clear, as oich the Rambam behilchas beis abchira halt, kishitas achinoch, that the truth is, not like the Achreinim say, but really the Rambam's opinion, even in Hilchas Beis Abichira, is also like the shit of the Chinuch, as das was the fact that the place of the Mizbech is very precise, is nit mitzadem, was matart frier, makter given karbanis. It's not because of the fact that this place is special, that there were karbanis brought there before. It's only the choice that the Abisha chooses this place. And the Rebbe, the Rebbe brings three main points over here to prove this, and later the Rebbe will add more to this. Aleph, number one. Kanal, Loshen HaKosov, Bechol Mokim, or Bekama Mokimis, Asher Yivcha, Bechayetze Bezeh. When it speaks about the Beis Mikdosh, it speaks about the Mikdosh being the Abisha's choice to choose this place. O Bechira Amitis, true choice, is nor when beide zachen hanifchar vashar when you have two things or two places. So it's only possible to use the terminology bechira when the place that's chosen and what's not chosen haven the alat noyim meiles valchem and zucht fit the criteria of exactly what you're searching for and you have two to choose from that are equal. So that's a choice. If you're looking for something specific and one has it and one doesn't, that's not a choice. So one, one is not shayach, one doesn't belong here. Right? So when we use the term choice, that means that you have two places that are the same, and you choose one over the other. So the Torah uses the term yivchar, so it must mean that the Rambam agrees, like the Pasek says, that it's a pchira that David should chose because the place is equal to any other place, but David should choose it, not because of anything unique and special about this place. Bayes, the second point is Mefurish Bemaima Chazalanal. There's a clear Mechilta that says, As Friyer is at is call at its Yisrok, Shayra Lemizbachis. Before the Beis Amikdash is chosen, all places in Eretz Yisrael, it would be kosher for the Mizbech. So that's clear. The Rebbe's Medayik before in the, in the beginning of the Sikha, Kshayra. The word Kshayra does not simply mean that before the Beis Amikdash was chosen, it was allowed. It was allowed to bring Karbanis anywhere. Even though the Beis Migdash is a special place, but still it was allowed. No, no, no. It says Kshayra. It was actually fit to be brought in any place. Gimel, another point is, Yumtak. if we'll say that according to the Rambam, the, really the basis of why this place was chosen is not because of it being a unique and special place. So then we will understand much better was the Allah Mailas Anal, all the Mailas that the Rambam speaks about regarding the Beis Mikdosh in the beginning of the second peric of Hilchas Beis Abichire, Rechin Tois the Rambam and Avazundar Alocha, the Tzveta Alocha from Peric Beis. He brings them in the second Alocha separately and not on, on, on the first Alocha. However, in the first Alocha, where he speaks about the fact that the place is precise, where Zok them Din Amizbech, Machovim Beyosev, Ein and Mishana Chulu, that you shouldn't change this location. Here, what does the Rambam say? Why is that the case? Why is it special? Here the Rambam brings the Pasek, This is the place for the Mizbech, for the Oil of Yidin. Which is the Pasek said after it speaks about the fact that this place is chosen for the Yidin. So in the first Halacha, where the Rambam talks about this place being the chosen place in the precise location that you shouldn't change, he brings the Pasek, that speaks about the Ebesh's choice, the Bechira. <coughs> and he doesn't speak about the Mailas, that comes in the next Talacha. And the Rebbe points out, Pasik, in Beis This is the same Pasik that the Rambam quotes towards the beginning of Hilchas Beis Abechira. 
Kivin Shanivna Mikdash, that when there is a Mikdash was built, Birishalayim, Nesra Kalamakaimis, all other places are prohibited of bringing Karbanis there, Vain Sham Bayas, Ladeira Adairis, and future generations, there's no base of Mikdash anywhere else. Ella Birishalayim, Bulvad, Bahara, and Biriya, only in Yerushalayim and Haramiriya. Shabon Emma, Vayayim, David, Zehu, Beis Hashem, Lekim, Vize, Mizbeach, Loyla, Yisrael. This is the place that the Abisha says, this is the oil place for the Mizbeach and the oil for the Yidin. So that's the very same Pasuk that the Rambam brings there regarding the location of the Besamikdash that the Abisha chose. And here as well, when the Rambam talks about the Mizbeach being very precise in its location, he also brings this Pasuk. Which other Pasuk does the Rambam bring? Umdem Pasuk in Divrei Ayamim, he also brings the Pasuk in Divrei Ayamim, Vayochol Shloime, Livnois is Beis Hashem, Yerushalayim, Shloime began beginning, building the Beis HaMikdash in Yerushalayim, Bahara Meria, Ashenira Ledova Daviu, the place where the Eivishter appeared to David his father, Asher Heichin, Bemokim David, Begoiren Arnon Ayivusi, which was prepared in the place where David HaMelech was. This was the threshing floor of Arnon Hayavusi that David HaMelech conquered or took from him. That's the Pasuk that the Rambam brings. So the Rambam is bringing these Psukim that are speaking about David HaMelech that took this place that Eibishter chose and Shloim HaMelech building it in that place. The says, so what does this mean? Their time of Mekayma and Mechovim B'Yosef Eim Mishan al the reason why this is a very precise place that has never changed, is Neit Mitzadim Maylis was a vet Eis Rechenen in the Allah HaShalach It's not based on all those special things that the Rambam will enumerate in the next Allah nor mitzadem vazeh mizbeach li Yisrael. When the pasuk says zeh, the pasuk is saying this is the spot. Um vayachol shloime, and also that shloime built it here. Velachered and vegen laachre bchiras hakadosh baruch hu. Let's speak about this location being it because the Eibush chose this place. The milos that Amban brings later are a separate point that comes in a lacha base, which the Rebbe will explain later in the sicha why the Amban brings them. Now the Amban does bring even in a lacha aleph. The fact that this is the place where the Akedas Yitzchok was uh, occurred, ha- happened over here in this location. In, in the Sikh itself, the Rebbe does not address why, but in the Ara 47, the Rebbe does give an answer why, even in this halacha, the, Re- the Rambam brings up the fact that this is the place for the Akedah. Let's continue inside. Now, Pizeh Yuvan was the Rambam brengt euch der Sia Makasu Vayacho Shleime, Asher Nira Ledova Daviu, Asher Heichem Bemokim David, Begeiren Arna Nayevusi that he built a base of Mikdash in that place where the Ebishter appears to David HaMelech, the place which David HaMelech had from Goiren Arnon Ayavusi, the threshing floor of Arnon Ayavusi. The Lechayre. So seemingly the Rambam didn't have to quote all this. That the place for the base of Mikdash and the Mizbeach is in Yerushalayim on Har HaMeria. But given the Nutz Brengen by Yochel Shleim and Livnes as base Hashem, in Yerushalayim by Har HaMeria. That he built the Mizbech here in Yerushalayim on Haramiriyah. Vasa da Shaykh, the Sia Makasov, Ashenire, the David, Aviv, Ashehechim, the Mokim David, the Gern, Arna Yevusi, the place that Abishta appears to David Amelech, the place that David got from Arnon Hayevusi. How is that relevant here? The history of where it got it from. Now, Pian Aya Shloimar, but based on what we said before, we could explain that the Rambam is saying as follows The myth is the Rambam Meramis. With adding this part of the Postic, the Rambam hints, as thus was ein mishanen es mekoisoim in mekoimai. This fact that you can't change the, the Beis Hamikdash, the Mizbeach, from its place, by Yochel Shloima, Livnes as Beis Hashem Yerushalayim, Shloima Melech began building the Beis Hamikdash in Yerushalayim, is mitzad ashenire ledavad aviu. First of all, the Rambam is saying this is the place where the Eibushda appears to davad Melech, Pchiras Hakadosh Baruch Hu. It's the Eibushda that chooses this place, not because there's anything else special here. And the Rambam brings the continuation of the Pasuk, that what was this place before? A place, the threshing floor of Arnon Ayavusi. Before it was chosen, there's nothing special here. It is Begoiren Arnon Ayavusi. This is a place that belonged to a guy, to Arnon Ayavusi. And therefore, the only mile here is the choice of the Eibishter. That's what I see from the fact that the Rambam brings the whole continuation of the Pasuk. The Rebbe now adds another important point. Based on this, that even the Rambam also holds that the whole Milo of the place of the Besamikdash is the choice of the Eibishter, not any other Milos. 
Yumtak, but the Rambam roofed on the halachas, Hilchas Beis Habechira. The Rambam refers in, to all these halachas as the halachas of the Beis Habechira. The Beis Hamikdash is called the chosen house of Hashem. Afal pi, was Lashna Kosev Elecha Brenk Gleich Leraya is the, the language the Pasuk uses. That the Rambam himself brings as a raya for this mitzvah, Vasuli Mikdash. Yidin should build a sanctuary, a, a place of holiness. And Fadem Shraibta, Yesh Bachlol and Sheish Mitzvah Schul. And the Rambam himself says when he counts the other mitzvahs that there are six mitzvahs, and one is Aleph, Livnois, Beis Mikdash, to build the Beis Mikdash. On Echte Allah Shal Akhir is a techef, Ruftaran, Hilchas Klea Mikdash. The next set of halachas are the halachas of the vessels in the Beis Mikdash, and then Bias Mikdash, the halachas of coming into the Beis Mikdash. So, of course, the Rambam himself always refers to the Beis Mikdash as the Beis Mikdash. But when it comes to the actual halachas, there are the halachas about the place and the structure of the Beis Mikdash itself. The Rambam chose to use the the, the, the lashon Beis Abichira. Why? So, while Shittas Rambam is because even the opinion of the Rambam as well is as Mailas a Mikdash is no mitzat pchiras Hakadosh Baruch Hu in the Mart. The advantage of this place is just the fact that the Eivishter chose this location. Not any of the other milas that the Rambam will mention later in Allah Beis, as the Rebbe already explained and improved before. And the Rebbe takes this a step further and points out a, s- a certain diak here, even in the next Allah, where the Rambam does bring all the milas of the place, but there's a certain diak there that you see that the Rambam added a few words because of this shitta that the place is only unique because the Eivishter chose it. Even the Rambam holds of that as well. If you'll analyze this deeper and you'll look here, you'll see. As the Rambam, is the Rambam das Merames, Oich in the Zweite Allah, Gufe, wo er rechnet euch den Meilers von dem Mokken. The Rambam hints to this, that the only Meiler this place has is the Eivish's choice, even in the second Allah, when he does bring up the special Meilers that the place had. So what does it say? Nachtem, wie der Rambam is Meirech, after the Rambam says at length, as um Messias wie Yad HaKoyl, there's a tradition we all have, Shamokim Shabana Bay David, the place David the Melech chose to build a base of Mikdash, Hu Amokim Shabana Bay Avram, Noyach, Cain, Hevel. These are the this is the place that all these people brought their Kabanas there. Sorry. Uboy Hikriv Odamarishin Karbin Kishanivra. And that's the same place that Odamarishin brought the carbon there as well. Umishon Nivra. And that's the place where Odamarishin was created from. Is a Maisif that Amam concludes and says. Amru Chachamim, the Chachamim said, Adam mimakim kaparasa nivra. Adam was created from the place of his atonement. In other words, simply what the Rambam is saying, from this place where the Beis Hamikdash will stand, the place of the kapara for for Yidin, for mankind, that's the place where Adam Rishon was created from. Isn't it move on? So this last line of the Rambam is extra. It's not understood. Pavaz bereng the Rambam a makir of dominion from misham nivra. Why does the Rambam have to bring a source for this last point that Adam Rishon was created from this place? As Chazal tell us, Omru Chacham, that Adam Rishon was created from the place of his kapara. Not by the Friedig in Yonim, but Dart Ois, not like the other things that the Rambam mentions that are special about this place. But Sabrenkt is a mocky, but even Chazal. He doesn't bring any source from Chazal where I see that Adam brought his carbonis there, Avram and Noyach. He doesn't bring the source in Chazal for this. Why does the Rambam bring a source, Dafke, for this detail regarding the creation of Adam Adishin? The Yeshleima, so based on what we said before, we can answer. And the Rebbe will first say the point, and then later the Rebbe, in the next Sif, the Rebbe will elaborate and explain. As the Rambam is not oisen zu bringen a mocker of Misham Nebra. The Rambam is not bringing this Omru Chachamim because he's looking to tell you the source for this point that Adam Adishin was created from this location. Nor the mit meramis sign, rather the Rambam is hinting to you, as the alle milas muurois the makim amizbech was erechent erechent in der aloche, that all the the Rambam is telling you all of these specialties or occurrences that he tells you about this place of the mizbeach, zenen nit bestire. It's not a contradiction to the inyan for a makim asher yivcha loshen aset Hashem. It's not a contradiction to the fact. That the Abishter in the future, after all these uh, people, Adam and Noyach and so on, brought the Karbanis here, only afterwards did the Abishter choose, and a real choice. As Malasai is Beloiz Mitzad Bechiras Akadesh Baruch Hu was given Esh Nachtem. 
And therefore the mile of the place is only the fact that Abish should chose it, which happens afterwards. Ah, over here you have all these milas that happened before the Abish chose it. By the Rambam adding that line in the end, Adam Mimakum Kaparasai Nivra, we understand why none of those milas that occurred before contradict the fact that the choice of the Abishta later is only the choice of the Abishta, not any of those milas from before. Kidla come on, as the Rebbe will explain here. So first the Rebbe will explain, so how is it that all these milas that this place has from before is not a contradiction to the point we're saying that the Abishta only chose it for, for his choice. The place itself is not special. How could you say that? So why is the Rambam bringing up all these milas that it has from, from the place before? If it, if it has all these milas, so does it mean that the choice of the Abish is not related to that at all? How could it be? So the Rebbe explains. This that Adam Arishin and Kayin, Kayin, Hevel, Noyach, and Avram have brought their karbanas to Mokim Zedavke. They brought their karbanas specifically in this location. They have oiskiklid in them art. They chose this spot. Why was it? They saw with, with their prophecy that this is the place that in the future the Abisha will choose. So it's not that they chose this place first and they made the place special. Then the Abisha comes and says, Ah, such a special place that all these people brought their karbanas here. This is the place I'll choose. No. They saw the future that the Abisha will choose this location. The Signa Nacha, to say it in other words, Nit Bechiras HaKadosh Baruch Hu B'Mokim Zeh is a Mesuviv from them was much in free and makri given dort karbonis un gemach de marta mokim zguli. It's not that the choice of the Eibishter is a result of the fact that because karbonis were brought there before and that made the place very special and unique. So as a result, the Eibishter decides to choose this place. That's not what happened. No fakert. It's the reverse. Thus was what Makrug and Karbanis and them Mokindak. The fact that uh, the Adam and the rest of them chose this specific place is a Mesuve from them. That's a result of the fact they saw the future that the Abishu will choose this place. So the only Maila is this place that the Abishu chose. They saw Benavuah, this, that the Abishu will choose this place. So therefore they decided to bring it in that special location, which is only special, Mishat Mitzad Abish's Bechira. So this is the explanation regarding all these uh, people from Adam to Avram that brought the Karbanis in this place. They saw the future. Thus, Kemen Rabbi Zogin, Blais Benegei, the Karbanis, was their Makru event. We could only say this regarding all these Karbanis that they brought in this place. However, when it comes to the place that we say that this is where our admiration was created, is Dr. Sapola from the Maibishim. This is not anyone else doing something. This is the Abishim himself. The Abishim himself is doing something, choosing this place to create our admiration right here. It's Ayyba Philom Bivetzog. Even if you're going to say, Azumisham Nivra, why does Davish to create other Marishan here? Is Mitzad Yidiyasi is Barach. It's because Davish is knowledge. As Ba'asid Vete Baychazain in the Mokim, that in the future the Abish will choose this location. For the Vesa Mikdash is the Khabishan Givana Pu'ula Nivra from Bhira. But there's something being done here in advance. Davish knows that he's going to choose this place in the future. And therefore, the Eibishter does something, chooses this place already before, and he creates other Marishan right there. O b'meile ken shayn et zayin b'yifanacher. So once the Eibishter creates other Marishan, he does an action in this place, because this is the place where he's going to choose to have the Beis HaMikdash there. And based on that, he already chooses this place to create other Marishan there. So prior to, to choosing to build a Beis HaMikdash there, to have this as the location of the Beis HaMikdash, the Abishu does something already for that purpose to make it special. So it becomes special to be the place of the Kapada of the Beis HaMikdash even before the Abishu chooses it for that. So if so, when the Abishu comes to choose it for the place of the Beis HaMikdash, you can't say that he's choosing a place which is the same as any other location Adam Marishan was created here for this purpose of the place of his kapara, and therefore it's special for that reason already. And the Rebbe brings an example for this. Ubi Mikol came from the Mbira Yedua in Sadik Berosha Loi Koma. This is understood from the fact, from the famous explanation that it says <coughs> regarding 
this that it says, the Altarebbe brings this in Tanya, of course, in the beginning, that when a person is created, so it's not said about this person before he's born, whether he's going to be a tzaddik or a rasha. And the, the diak here is, like ka'amar, it's not something that is, is expressed in words. As oidi, diya shal amayla, voltarez gekomen in adibor, if the Eidish's knowledge of the future, whether this person will be a tzaddik or the opposite, would come out in words, that has an effect on the reality and on the person being created and it would force him to behave according to the Eivishter's knowledge. If it came out with Dibur. How much more so is that true in our case? Was the idea that the Eivishter's idea, the Eivishter's knowledge, which is already put into effect by an action, that the Eivishter creates Adam Edition over there for this, for this purpose of the Beis HaMikdash, the place of the Kapara being here, will give an Apu'ulam Umayla, there's already Apu'ulam being done from above to make this place special for Kapara. So how can we say that then the Eivishter chooses the Beis HaMikdash, that it's a choice, that the specialty of the Beis HaMikdash is just a Mokam HaShayivchar, it's not a Mokam HaShayivchar, there was a Apu'ulam done in advance for this purpose by creating Adam Edition there. The father is the Rambam Moisev. So therefore the Rambam adds, Amru Chachamim, Adam, Mimokim, Kaparos, Soi, Nivra. Adam Arishan. The Rambam is quoting this not just as a source, but the Rambam is quoting this to clarify what it means that the Eivish created Adam Arishan in this location. Mimokim, Kaparos, Soi. The Eivish creates Adam Arishan and he chooses this place because this is the place of Adam Arishan's Kapara. In other words, it's not related to the Beis HaMikdash at all. It's related to the kapara of Adam Edition. As das was omisham nivra, the fact that he was created from this place is as nit vidifri de gezachen. It's not like the other things that the Rambam mentions here, the karbonis, shekribu b'mokimze, all the karbonis that were brought in this place by Adam Edition and then Nanayach and so on. This is given by the osid that design the mokim ashiyev Hashem. Related to the Beis HaMikdash, because this is the place where the Beis HaMikdash is going to be, and therefore they choose this place to bring their Kabbanis. No, rather over here, when the Eivishter creates Adam and it's not connected at all to the Beis HaMikdash. Nor Valdos is Mokim Kaparosai. This is the place of Adam Arishan's Kapara. Their art was Adam Arishan at Baychigavim Brengen Zayin Karben. This is the place that Adam Arishan chose to bring his Karben. So therefore, the Eivish creates Adam Arisha in Mimokim Kapara Soi, the place that is connected to Adam Arisha for his Kapara. But it's not a Pa'ole, it's not the Eivish just creating Adam Arisha and choosing this place, doing something that creates an action, a choice in this place in connection to the Beis HaMikdash. Not at all. The Eivish chooses this place to create Adam Arisha because it's the place of his Kapara. Okay? And then Adam Arisha, Cain, Hevel, and so on, bring their Karbonis, Dafke here. Why? Because in the future, the Eivishter will come and choose this place for the Beis HaMikdash. So when the Eivishter comes to choose this place for the Beis HaMikdash, that is simply just the choice of the Eivishter. Nothing else before. Whatever happened before was because of the Nevoah that they knew the future. But it's not, not the other way around. Not that because they did something, that's what made it special. Even the fact that the Eivishter creates Adam Erishin there is also not related to the Beis HaMikdash. It's the Eivishter choosing to this place to create Adam Arisha in connection to Adam Arisha's carbon that he will bring there for his kapara. So therefore, nothing that the Rambam says in Allah Beis about the milus of this place contradicts the premise of what he puts down in Allah Aleph that the place is special only because of the Bechira of the Eibishter. Okay, so the Rebbe spent most of the uh, Sikha here proving this Chiddush that the shit of the Rambam is the Bechir of the Eibishter, nothing else. Even though it would seem from Halacha Beis here that it's not so, but the Rebbe explained how it's not a contradiction and therefore that's the conclusion. The Rambam's shit is, it's Hilches Beis HaBechir. As light of an it but if so, the question then be, remains. Vibalt, as Eich Ledas Rambam is the time, as Mekoyim and Bechuvim B'yayse, nit mitzad the Karbonah Shekri V'chule in them Mokit. If it's true that even according to the Rambam, the reason why the place of the Mizbech is so precise is not because of the Karbanas that were brought there before, nor Mitzad, Bechiras al Baruch. It's just the Abish's choice in this place. 
Heint, was in der Gehe zu bringen, in Hilches Beis Abichide, dem ganzen Indien, in der zweiten Halache, als hua Mokim schon nivne, Shabana bei Avram Cholu, Naya Cholu, mit Mokim Kaparas in Nivre. So why is it at all relevant to bring all these special things that happened in this location before? If it plays no role in, in explaining to us the specialty of this place, Adarabha, what they did was futuristic. They saw the choice of the Eibishter in the future, and it's just the choice of the Eibishter. So why is all this relevant to bring, especially in the Rambam, Hilchas Beis Abichir, Sefer Ayad, in the Sefer Alochas, why would the Rambam bring all this? So we can answer as follows. As the mid Bavar and the Rambam, the Rambam, by bringing all these unique special things about the place, what he's clarifying is, Favos ve'ein mishane noisayim in the Kaim why, once the Eivishter chose this place, can it not be lo- changed from this location forever? What does that mean? Hey, Nemes. As das is the Mokem Ashiv Char This is the place that the Eivishter chose, and that's the only thing that's special about this place. Is the Sabanar, is the, sorry, is the Sabanachnit Ken Raya Gemura, as Durchdem is Nishlal Gevar, and the Efshari is Sumishan is Anu Mokem Achem. It's still not yet full proof that because the Eivishter chose this place, that the choice is to such a degree that it can't ever be changed to any other place. There are different levels in choice when you choose something. And the same thing by the Eivishter as well, when the Eivishter chooses a place. It could be the place is chosen for a certain time period, but it's not chosen forever. Or could be it's chosen forever. So how do we know what level the choice of the Eivishter is? That over here when the Eivishter chose this place, it's a place chosen to be forever and never to be changed. We find regarding David Melech himself being chosen to be a king, as the Rebishter had Beiche given and David Ubonav Achrav, the Rebishter chose David Melech and his descendants, Hamalchos Loi Uluvonav Azacharim Adailam. He's chosen to be the king, him and his descendants forever. Yet at the same time, is the Din Kipsaka Rambam. The Halach is, as the Rambam himself passed things in Hilchis Malachim. As a novi shehemid melech mishar shifte Yisrael chulo. If a if a prophet ever stands up and appoints a king for many of the other shvatim, had a melech, he has a din of a melech as well. V'chol mitzvus hamalchus noyeg is by, and all halachas that pertain to a melech, which the Rambam tells us in Hilchas Malachim what they are, many halachas apply to him as well once he is appointed by a novi. However, the Rebbe does clarify. He says no, v'as tipasik hamalchus mi beisai. The level of his malucha is not the same as it is by David Melech, because by David Melech it continues forever to all his descendants. Adoylam. By another Melech of another Shevet, it's not the case. But the fact is, even after the Ebushu chooses David Melech to be a king, it does not negate the possibility that someone else could be chosen as a king, and all the halachas of malucha apply to him. So, if so, the same thing could be said over here regarding the Beis Hamikdash. Val pizeh vertoch the shayla benegeh mokem Mikdash. The question becomes regarding this spot chosen for the Beis HaMikdash. Minolon shlilas kol mokim. How do we know this negates any other place? O befrat hashayle benegei l'shiloi. Specifically the question is regarding shiloi. V'asazeich given amokim ashe yivchad Hashem. That's also a place that the Ebishter chose. Before the Ebishter chose the location of the Beis HaMikdash. Was der Mishkan is gestanen shin samech tes shana. The Mishkan was there for 369 years. Is das machriach lachayre tzuzagin as zehu beis Hashem? The zeh mizbeach is lav dafke. So if so, this forces us to say that when it says zeh, that this is the location for the house of David, this is the location for the mizbeach. It's not dafke here that it uh, rules out any other place for the beis hamikdash to be. Val derech zeh by Mar Sinai, vu Moshe Rabbeinu to Evgesh told the Mishkan be pamari shayna. And the same is also true regarding the place where Moshe Rabbeinu put up the Mizbeach and built the Mishkan for the very first time. So it's also not something which was forever over there. So how do we know that over here in Yerushalayim, in Haram Yediyah, the place that Ebeshit chose, is a place that is chosen and remains the location forever for the Beis HaMikdosh and we rule out any other place? Bavarentes, the Rambam, the Mekoimai, the Perek Aleph. So the Rambam clarifies this before in the beginning of Hilchas Beis Abichire, in its place over there, how we know that this is the place for the Beis HaMikdash forever. And Valderach Zedo, and that's over here also the main point, not only in Perek Aleph, where the Rambam brings the details of how we know that Eibush should chose Dafka this place. So over here as well, the main point where the Rambam is bringing all the milus of this place is for this purpose. The Rebbe, the Rambam, 
Araya. So therefore the Rambam brings over here Araya as in them foul is the Bechire and Anoifim was a child given under the Mekayimus. The level of Bechire, the choice of the Ebesh to hear was to the extent that not only is this place chosen, but it actually negates and rules out any other place of being the spot for the Beis HaMikdash. And the proof for this is the fact that when all these people, all the Marishan and so on, came to choose a place where to bring their karbanis, everybody, without exception, brings their karbanis dafke here in this place because everybody knows there is no other location that will ever be in the future. If the fact was that they were choosing in this place was a choice, but it does not rule out any other places. So why are they all bringing their kabbonis in this precise location here in Haram Iriya? So this is the proof, is the fun mashma as mitzad, the chires ha kadosh baruch hu, then an ander mekaymis nishlal gavalim. So this proves that when the Ebesha chose this place, he rules out every other location. When they were looking to bring a carbon in a special place that Abish is going to choose, they saw the future is this not in the Mokim or in them Mekayimim Mechuvim B'yayse in Haram Gufa, in this specific spot in Haram So the only reason that Rambam brings all of these special things about this place is just to explain to us the nature and the extent of the Bechira of the Abish, but not because this is the basis of the Bechira, that the Ebesha chooses this place because it's special. So the Rebbe turned around the entire Rambam over here. You learn the Rambam, Allah Aleph, Allah Beis, and you would, it seems like the Achreinim say, the Rambam's opinion is that this place is special and that's why it was chosen. But no, the Rebbe says that's not the opinion of the Rambam, it's only the Bechira of the place and there's no argument about this. In, to look, looking at this, so we could explain as follows, and here the Rebbe will say a different pshat. First, by an introduction of something that was once spoken about. These two concepts, choosing a place and the sanctity of the place. And the Rambam uses both of these titles regarding the place of the Beis HaMikdash. Hilchas Beis Abichire, on Hilchas Klei Amikdash, Hilchas Bias Amikdash, Void. So, what's the difference between them? As in Yederin is Doa Maile Legabid and Sveitin. In both of these terminologies, they express a certain advantage that each one has and the other doesn't. The Mezoktefa Givisa Zach, as is Kodesh, when you say regarding a certain location or a certain object, this is holy. Vaistas, what, what is the indication here? As the Kedusha Adurukim Numen Zach. The, the object, the place itself, is holy. That's what it is. It, you're defining the thing itself. It permeated the very place itself. The zach is heilig. The very object, the very place is actually holy. You're talking about the nature of the place itself. What, what is this? This place is a holy place. But on the other hand, since the expression of kedusha is a description explaining what is the level of this thing itself. What's the nature of this location? So therefore, is verbunden mit der Sach, was is mutbul. So therefore, this is a description of the object or place itself, and therefore, whatever holiness it has is limited to whatever the object is, or whatever the location is. It, it is holy, but it, whatever it is, is holy, but not more. So there's a limited holiness in this object, whatever it could contain. So therefore the level of holiness in it is also limited. Whatever the limitations of the object or place is. As I said, regarding space, regarding, regarding location. Whereas when it comes to the expression of choice, a place that's chosen to be a special place is nit mitzada nifcha. You're not describing the nature of the place itself, what's unique and what's special about the place itself. No mitzada nbaycha. Bechire means, as the Rebbe pointed out in the beginning, bechire is when you have two things that are really equal. There's nothing special about this place. So bechire is not describing what's unique about this place. And the baycha, the one that chooses, he, he chose this place, was erat He chooses this place and connects to it. Not because the place, you're not describing the place itself. Adarab, you're describing a baycher, someone that comes and chooses this location. 
when the Abishta comes and chooses this location for the Beis HaMikdash. The Shas, the Abishta is Baychara Mokim, Bakumter Amayla, Kedusha, Bilti Mokbelas. It's the Abishta choosing. The Abishta is unlimited. So therefore there's an infinite holiness that the Abishta chooses to bring here. Well, the Abishta is Bligvul. Overly, doch, on the other hand, Vibalt as the Maile Kedusha is Mitzad and Baycher, since the whole advantage and the holiness is the Abish's choice, it doesn't relate and connect to the place. It's not describing the nature of the very place itself. Is this Nit Kaf Shaloi? This is the expression that the Gemara uses. It's not his measure. It's not something that comes from below, that the very nature of the place is this. It's from above. As the after noch kumen, avoidis atzmoi, vichte as al durich nemen in ganzen. Then you have to have an Aveda from below. There has to be work and the Aveda, in this, in this case, the Aveda of the, the, the Karbanis and all the Aveda done in the base of Mikdash from below to make the place itself special and holy. It's just the Bechir of the Eivishter. It's all a Kedusha from above. But the, na- the, the nature of the very Zach or Mokkim, the place itself, hasn't changed at all. So therefore, there's something demanded from below that it should permeate the very place itself. So these two aspects of the Beis HaMikdash, the Bechire and the Kedusha, is what the Rambam is telling us about the place of the Mizbeach. In the Rer Shtaloche, where Zog, the Mizbeach, Mekoymei, Mechuvim, Be'yosev, Ve'eim, Mishan, and Oysem, and Mekoymei, Le'yoyla. When the Rambam says that the place of the Mizbeach is precise and forever, it cannot be changed. Was Vais of the Nitzchis, Bliak Bala from the Mokim, showing us the eternity or the revelation of something which is unlimited, the infinite presence of the Ebishter in this place. That's not something that is a mile, any, anything that could be done in this place to bring about such a kind of infinite choice that it's forever. The only one that brings this everlasting choice in this place is the Ebishter which is bleak full, and he chooses this place forever. And of them, bring to the Pasuk, Shal Achiri Abchire Zeh Mizbech Loi Le Yisrael. And that's the first point, and the Rambam brings the Pasuk on this, that the Ebesh chose this place for Karbanas for Yidin. And then the Allah Shal Achiri Zeh, but then in the following Allah, is there Moisif, here the Rambam adds, as Oich Far Bechire Sakadosh Baruch Hu, that even before the Ebesh chooses this place, is in the Mokim Da Kedusha Mugbelas. The place is special, it does have something unique. It has special holiness there for all, all, all the Adam and so on that brought the Karbanis there, Kedusha, but, but Kedusha Mugbelis, the Kedusha that they are able to create with their Aveda in that place, which is limited to what a Nivra a human being could, could, could accomplish. That they brought the Karbanis there and he was created in Yimakum as the Rebbe explained before. And according to this, this place has both Milas. It has the Mila of Bechira, that the Ebisha chose this place, and it has the Mila of Kedusha, that there was the Kedusha of the place, the Kazadam Edition, that brought the Karbanis there. So, this is a different Hezbra that the Rebbe said before in the Sikha. Before the Rebbe was explaining of Pinigla that it's only the choice of the Ebishta. And the fact that they brought their karbonis before there, from Adam Edition forward, that was futuristic. They saw the Bechir of the Eivishter and therefore they brought it there. Here the Rebbe is explaining, no, there's actually two Milas. There is the Mila that there was before Mitzad Kedusha, but that Mila Mitzad Kedusha does not connect, and that's not the cause for the Eivishter's Bechir, because they're totally different. Kedusha is Kedusha Mugbelas, that's limited what a Nivra could do from below. The Bechir coming from the Eivishter's initiative, the Eivishter choosing, is not a follow-up and not caused by the Kedusha that's brought from below. That's unlimited. That's a completely different level. And that Bechire is purely Bechire, not related to the Maila of the place. So therefore, it's not a contradiction. Both can be true at the same time. Now, Pizeh, coming back now to one of the questions that Rebbe asked, is Eich nit ken stire zwischen Hilches Beis Abchire und Meire Nevochen. There's no contradiction between what the Rambam says in Beis Abchire where, that the place is unique and special and has Kedusha there. And what he says in Meir Nevuchim, that the Ebesha chooses this place, but it doesn't change the nature of the place. It's similar to Advar Seichel that goes through the fingers of a hand that writes an idea. Das was from Hilches Beis Abchire Kumtais, as the Mokim Amikdash, Vam Mizbeach, is a Mokim Zguli Lashra Sashchine. The fact 
that the Rambam says that the place of the Mizbeach and the Beis HaMikdash is unique and special for the Shechina to dwell there. So going back to the Pshat that the Achreinim say, that the Rambam holds that it is something special, that there is Ashra, something that brings the Shechina there, is Nalagabi the Kedusha Mugdalas. So that's the limited Kedusha that the Rambam is speaking about. Which could be accomplished to the actions of a human being below. But the choice of the Eivishter, Vazi is built to Mikvelis. The Eivishter chooses with the full force of the Eivishter to choose something in an unlimited way. The choice of the Eivishter, there's no Kaili for this. It's not that there's the place becomes a Kaili for this choice of the Eivishter. The Eivishter chooses to dwell in this place and it's simply his choice. But that choice of the Eivishter does not connect and change the nature of the place itself to become a keli for this bleak vul of the Eivishter. That's the shit of the Rambam. So it's two different aspects of the place of the Beis HaMikdosh. Masha'en ke'en, the Ramban halt. However, the Ramban's opinion is, as mitzat koicha yizbarach ha'koyl yachayl, because the Eivishter's power is unlimited, and therefore there's nothing the Eivishter can't do, the Eivishter's a koyl yachayl, and especially after the Ebesha chooses the place, there is an unlimited Kedusha, it's the Ebesha's Bechire, and that Bechira of the Ebesha does, does connect and does become permeated in the place itself, not only the limited Kedusha, but also the unlimited Kedusha of the Ebesha does connect to the very place itself, because the Ebesha is Bechira, and therefore the Bechira of the Ebesha could also connect to the very place itself. But now, in the next sif, the Rebbe will connect this back to the pshat that the Rebbe said in the Sikhe, that really, it's not too unrelated. So, now the Rebbe is basically saying it's two unrelated things, according to Pnimi Son Yonim. There's the level of Kedusha, which is Mugbal, and there's the Bechire, which is Bligvul. But before we said that even this, that Adam Arisha and Bechulu brought their Karbanis in this place, was also futuristic, because they saw that this is the place that Abish is going to choose. So it's not just their Aveda for themselves that they decided to choose this place. It's also based on the Bechira of the Eibishter later. So there is a connection between these two. We could add, even according to the opinion of the Rambam, as the Kedusha Mugbelas was as verbunden mit Mokem Matzmai. The limited Kedusha that this place has, that aspect, limited according to what the place itself could handle, it's also related to the other aspect, the unlimited presence of the Eivishter that comes from the choice of the Eivishter. Why is that? As we explained before, Avram and the others, they built their Mizbachais there and brought their Karbanis there. They saw in the future that this is the place that Eivishter is going to choose. So it comes out as Zeyi so what they accomplished, what they did that brought the limited Kedusha to the place is is connected to the Eibishter's Bechira that the Eibishter is going to choose this place in the future. The only reason that they decided to do their Aveda in this place, which is limited, is only because the unlimited Bechira of the Eibishter that will be in the future. So it is, so in other words, even in their Aveda, it has already the potential of the Kayach, of the unlimited choice of the Eivishter in it. So with this we could understand was Avram at Mispal given. Why Avram Davin regarding this place when he made by the Akeda, when Oiske feared, then he actually was successful. The Eivishter had listened to his tefillah, Asher Yomar Ayoyim, Yede Yoyim, Nitzchi Bahar Hashem Yero. That the Eivishter should say today, and this is every day, that this should eternally be the place where Bahar Hashem Yero. So even though this is the Aveda of Adam, of, sorry, of Avram by the time of the Akedah, before the Eivishu chooses. So what other, again, what Avram is doing here is limited. Avram as a Nivra is doing his Aveda here. So how can he accomplish that it should be every single day Nitzchi Bahar Hashem Yira? The Nitzchi is only comes from the choice of the Eivishu afterwards. But because Avram chose this place to bring the Yitzchak for an Akedah, seeing in the future that this will be the place of Bechira, so what he's doing now is also related to the Bechira of the Eivishter, which is Nitzchi. So therefore he now already asks from the Eivishter that this should be my bringing of Yitzchak here for that Kedah, should be piled that it should be Bahar Hashem Yirah every day, Ba'ifin Nitzchi. 
and he accomplished this. There is a Ha'ara over here, Ha'ara 62. I don't usually teach the Ha'aras, but a lot of the Gishmak of the Sikhe is here in Ha'ara 62. So I'm going to read most of Ha'ara 62. There's a Sikh in Chelek Yudches, which the Rebbe quotes or uh, is, refers to in Ha'ara 58, which is the basis where the Rebbe speaks about these two concepts of Kedusha versus Bechire, the relative mile of each one. That yes, it's true, on one hand, Bechira is totally from above, it's the Abish's choice, not because of the milest that the very object being chosen has, but by Yidin, when the Abish chooses a Yid, and then Yidin do their Aveda, through their Aveda of Teireh Mitzvahs, that draws the Bechira to penetrate the Pnimius. The Aveda of Teireh Mitzvahs is not separated from that Bechira, it's not only their own Aveda as a Nivra, but it actually has the power to draw that Bechira to be penetrated into them. Ayin Shom Barucha. Rei Shom Gam, Lini Kedusha Sa'aretz, similar to the Rebbe explains regarding the Kedusha of Eretz Yisrael. V'ula Yeshleim al Derech Zeh Ben Yeneinu Akhoponam L'Das Ramban. So we can say the same thing here in our case regarding the place of the Beis HaMikdosh. And the Rebbe begins first, at least according to the Ramban. Shayidei Zeh, Shekrivu Adam Rishim V'chulu Karbanas B'mokim Zeh. Through the fact that Adam Rishim brought Karbanas in this place, as soon as David should choose this place, unlike every Bechira that does not internally change the very place itself, because it's something that's unlimited coming from above, but over here, since they all brought their Karbanas in this place because of the future that David is going to choose this place, so there was Aveda done there already, as soon as David should choose this place, it connects to the place, and it changes the very place, the Bechira of the Ebishter settles and becomes established in the place Bekviyas. And especially through all the Karbanas being brought in this place of the Beis HaMikdash after the Bechira. The Rebbe goes even a step further, we could say that the truth is, even the Rambam agrees that the Bechira of the Ebishter does become established and settled in the place like the opinion of the Ramban, and not like the Hezbo that it says in the Tzamech Tzedek, that it's just like the fingers that have the Dvar Seichel passing through it, but it doesn't become Nikva there. The Ma'ash is Fir Elei Sha'ashra V'mikdash Yirak Derech Ma'iver. This that it says, and the Tzamech Tzedek explains, that according to the Rambam, and, the, and, and, and based on the Rambam and Meir Nevuchim, the Shechina is just like passing through this place, but it's not Nikva, it doesn't change the place itself. Humitzad Ashra K'mishabom Ma'ila. From above, the Bechir of the Eibishter, the nature of the Bechira from above is the Ebesh is choosing a place and not changing the place. It's not there to, to change the, the nature of the place itself. It's a choice from above, not based on the Metzias of the place itself. That's Mitzad Lamayla. But then through the Avayda of Yidin, even according to the Rambam, or even the Avayda before actually, Avayda Mirishin, it does become connected to the very place itself. Ullah Rambam, now according to the Rambam, so there is a distinction here, a subtle distinction between the Rambam and the Ramban. Gam mitzad halamaylo. Actually, it's a slap shuz b'mokim. Mitzad koychi is barach ha'koyachol. The only maplaikas between the Rambam and the Ramban is regarding mumaylo. The b'chira of the Ebesh to mumaylo. So the, the Rambam says the b'chira mumaylo negates the tachtin, negates the mitzias. It's the Ebesh's choice. It's not mesiaches. It doesn't relate b'chal to the mitzias of what's being chosen. So the place itself doesn't get changed and elevated through that. The Ramban says, no, even mitzah the Bechira Lamaila, the Abish is Koyachal. So it's totally, on one hand, totally the Abish's choice, not relating to the Metzias of the place. On the other hand, does Gufa, does relate and penetrates the very place itself, because the Abish is Koyachal. So that, that's the Machlaik, it's mitzah Lamaila. But mitzah the Aveda that's being done there, the Ram, Ramban will agree that ultimately the Bechira of the Abish is Nikva Bekviyas in the place. When the Ramam talks about the fact that you don't change your location from here, so the Ramam brings two points, the choice of the Ebishter, when he brings the Psukim that speak about the Ebishter's Pchira, and also the Zed, the Remikdosh Nekad Yitzchak, and the fact that there was Avedah there, the Akedis Yitzchak there. It's the Avedah that brings the Pchira of the Ebishter, which is Bleak Bull, to be established in this place. And that's the reason why it's not changed forever. When the Rambam speaks about the, the Kedusha of the Ebishter, 
that's in the place of the Besamikdash and Yerushalayim. So on one thing he says it's the Shechina, and the Shechina is not bottle. So that's Mitzad Lamaila. The Kriyas Hakdush and the Tnei Shechina Ba Mokim Hu Mitzad Zeh Shekitsha Shloim. But then the Rambam also adds it's not only Mitzad Mel Maila the Eibush chose this place, but it's also because Shloim Amelach was Mekalish the place which is divided from below. That is what what brings the Chira Mel Maila to be Nikva and the place that it should be Nitzchi and Kavua in the very place itself.